I've already done a couple of videos on the effects of bullying. I still wanted to do some more, so... It, it should be said that, for those of you who haven't already watched the other videos, it does also have to do with the fact that I was raised authoritarian. My mother was very much in control. But what happened was that I just hid myself more and more. I I tried to not be anything that was natural to me. I tried to adjust to what other people seemed to want me to be, which wasn't good enough. It never, never was, it never has been. Not for me. When judging, you know, when, when seeing how others react to... So... When I lost more and more of who I was, if there really was such a thing back then, I guess I hadn't really made an identity by then, I don't know. And when it still kept going, bullying is an attempt to excuse me, destroy, or push away, or force to adjust and conform. It is... I'm not talking about teasing or mild picking on someone. I'm talking about pervasive attempts to destroy the target. And it's not like I could leave. It's not like I was completely destroyed. And it's not like I could change because I, to this day, don't know why I do what I do. I just... I do. It is what it is. I can't I haven't been able to change it, and I doubt I can, at most, channel or, to some extent, control it, you know, you hold it back for some amount of time, but those of you who've seen many videos of mine, you can probably tell when I start talking, I just keep going, and then sometimes I pause, and try to think of the next thing to say, but when I get to talking, I can just keep going, and that's one of the things. I couldn't leave because I was just stuck in the classroom, or I had to, you know, it was recess, so I had to remain on school grounds, at least. So... And I, I don't know, maybe too much willpower to be completely psychologically destroyed. So the destruction, it led to, it led to self self-sabotage, self-destructive behavior. I don't want to say that out loud. It sounds stupid because I've never I've never drank, I've never smoked, never done any drugs. But nonetheless, self-destructive. Sometimes in social respects. Pushing people away to make sure that they didn't get too close so I wouldn't lose someone again or so that they couldn't hurt me by hating me f 
for just being me, for just existing. And the self-destructive behavior didn't really just stop. Not all of it has... I, I haven't gotten past all of it yet. It took work, and it took finding people who actually do accept at least some parts of me to at all get past the extreme self-loathing and... I get why bullying happens. I get that there is an instinct that we have to stay within certain parameters to survive as a pack. I get that, but to any potential or current bully, rather than judging someone just for being the way they are, See if there isn't something about the person that you could maybe accept about them, respect about them, and just focus on that. There aren't very many people at all, if any, who like everything about any other person. I don't think I've ever met someone who seem to like everything about some other person and I certainly don't like everything about any person that I could possibly think of. Such a thing is a temporary, in, in my experience, a temporary delusion usually related to like being in love with someone, you know, you don't see the bad stuff, then later you do. And if you had to be completely honest with yourself then, yes, there is some stuff you don't like about them. And not everyone is going to like everyone at all. There are some people that you just can't like. There are people that I can't like. But whenever there is someone that you have or you feel like, bully, that you have bullied or that you feel like bullying, just try to stop and just consider if there is something else that you could focus on about that character, that person, brain freeze, wrong word, whatever, about that person that you could respect, that you could Nobody wants to be alone. Not really. Sometimes. Portions of time, but... I've never met anyone who truly wanted to always be alone. And... Who wouldn't appreciate just... Having one aspect of themselves, of their personality, of their behavior... Respected and accepted by their surroundings.